Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the Fremlic Medium Achievement Diary Tasks. The quest requirements are Fremlic Trials, Eagle's Peak, Horror from the Deep and Between a Rock. You will also need to have partially completed Fairy Tales Part 2 until you have unlocked the Fairy Rings and also partially completed Olaf's quest until you have unlocked the Brine Rats. Skill requirements are 35 Hunter, 37 Construction, 40 Mining, 42 Thieving and 47 Slayer. Also having 43 prayer is very helpful and is recommended by me. For the items that are needed, a spade, a rope, any kind of pickaxe that you can use, a dragon or a lunar staff, a butterfly jar and a butterfly net and then 2 GP. Also you need to have a pet rock but I don't have it right now and if you also don't have it you can get it while doing the tasks. You also need to have a menagerie room with any kind of pet house in your POH. Since I have neither of those, I'm going to create both of them at the start of this guide. The room itself will cost 30,000 GP and the first pet house needs 4 oak planks, a hammer and a saw to create. And the last item that you will need is a gold helmet. But I don't have it in my inventory right now because we'll have to run through the entirety of Waterbirth Dungeon and since that helmet weighs something like 30 kilograms, I don't want to have that helmet in my inventory dragging me down so I've just kept it in my bank and I'm going to take it out when I'm going to need it for the task. For the recommended items is a weapon to kill a brine rat and as I mentioned before we will have to run through the entirety of Waterbirth Dungeon so bring along one prayer potion with your fully restored prayer points, some prayer boosting armor that doesn't weigh too much because Waterbirth Dungeon is a quite long dungeon, something like two stamina potions and some food. What I forgot to bring along was one rune throwing axe if you're going to go solo through the Waterbirth Dungeon. We're going to get the pet rock to complete our first task, so you can easily solo the Wallerbird dungeon, so therefore you will need to have one rune throwing axe. Next for the teleports is just one teleportation method back to Raleka to claim our reward, any teleportation method to a fairy ring, and then one teleportation method to Eagle's Peak. You could bring an additional teleport to a fairy ring, which I will tell you the code to during the guide, or you could just bring a Piscatoris teleport scroll. Alright, there are only 9 tasks to complete. First, I'm going to create a menagerie in my home. So let's go to the building mode if you don't have it also. I'm going to build a door hotspot and let's create any menagerie, doesn't matter indoors or outdoors. I'm just going to take indoors, why not? Don't really care, let's build. Alright, build a pet house space. Let's create the first one, which requires those things. And now we have the required things for one of the tasks. First, I will need to have the pet rock, so let's grab that first. To get the pet rock, we will need to go to Raleka. And in front of the big building, also known as the long hall, we should find a child called, called Ascaladon. Let's talk to him. And he should give us a new pet rock if you select the second option. All right. Next, let's go back to our POH to complete our first task. So let's go to your house, not in building mode. Let's right click and use a pet rock on the oak house or any other pet house that you have. And you will now see that your pet rock is somewhere in this room. Pick it up to complete your first medium task. Next, keep the pet rock in your inventory because we will have to go through the waterboard dungeon and the pet rock can substitute for a second player. So first let's go outside and let's enter the Raleka city. Just like with the Raleka easy diary, let's go north to the rock crabs and and just south of the rock crabs there you should find a mine. In the easy diaries we have mined a silver ore from a silver rock but inside we will now need to mine coal. Just mine one coal to complete your second task. Drop it and let's go back outside. 
Next, go west and go to the market. In the market, there are a couple of stalls. Okay, southwest. We will need to find one of the two fishing stalls. Doesn't matter which one, as long as there are not too many market guards nearby. Let's quickly steal some fish to complete our third task. Next, I would like to go to Waterbirth Island. So let's go northwest to the most western dock. Let's right click on Jarvolt and travel with him. Once we are on the island, let's go northwest and go to the Waterbirth Dungeon. Just pass some rock crabs and just keep following the path until you see the dungeon sign. Let's enter the cave and if it is one of your first times, uh, select the go in, I don't mind dying option. Next go northeast and use protect from uh, melee if you want to. Just keep going north, northeast, mainly east. You just need to take the uh, northern path, it is the easier one, until you see a door or a gate. In front of the door you'll find two dark tiles. Stand on one of them, drop your pet rock and then stand on the other dark tile. Then you just need to open the door, take your pet rock and continue to go through this dungeon. Keep using protect from melee, passing all these giant rocks until you uh, see the next dungeon sign. Once you reach that dungeon sign, you will find some door supports. Stand next to it. So be sure to right click and stand next to the door support. Equip your rune thrown axe, select the special attack option and destroy the door next to you. Not the one in front of you, just the one uh, on the uh, western side. Then this will uh, open up everything. Use protect from magic and climb down the ladder. Alright, once you've done that, uh, let's go east and climb down the other ladder. Then switch your prayers to protect from missiles and just keep going east. Then use protect from melee and go south. Climb down this ladder, use protect from missiles and just keep going west. Switch to protect from magic before you're climbing down to the next ladder. And then just keep going west, climb up the ladder, keep using protect from magic. You'll find another ladder, climb down and just keep going south. Next, uh, climb up the other ladder and here will find your first resting spot if you don't have any stamina potions. Next, once you have done resting, use protect from melee and continue to go east. Climb down the ladder and use protect from missiles. Continue to go east. Once you're done there, once you're there, climb up the ladder, go north and climb down the ladder. Next, use protect from melee and follow this dungeon to the next ladder. Once we have climbed down this ladder, we will find yourself uh, to another resting place if you're just standing south of the ladder. Once you have done resting there, uh, use protect from melee and continue to go through this dungeon. Just go around the corner until the path goes south. Once the path goes south, switch your prayer to protect from magic. And now just keep going through this dungeon, following the big room east until you see the ladder to the DKs. Just pass that ladder. And once you've passed the ladder, you can switch your prayer to protect from missiles. And now we have pretty much reached the end. The only thing you now have to do is to go to the next ladder. Climb up that ladder, use protect from melee 
and now we just need to continue to use protect from melee, climb up three more ladders until we have reached the end. Alright, once you've done swimming out of the water, let's teleport to any fairy ring. Next, use your Dremen or Lunar Staff, or if you have completed the uh, Lumbridge Elite, it is not necessary. And now we will need to use the fairy ring code CIP, teleport ourselves to Miscellanea. This will be task number 5 completed. Next, let's uh, right click on a fairy ring to configure and let's now use the code DKS and this should bring us next to Olaf's quest. Next, let's go north to that dead tree sign. Just like in Olaf's quest, let's just stand south of it, dig our spade. Now we'll need to wait to fall into this dungeon, wait for the birds to go away and let's follow the dungeon just north in that alcove we should find a lot of uh, brine rats click on your minimap and let's wait for our character to have moved himself there and now we just need to slay one uh, brine rat equip your weapon and kill one And this will be task number 6 out of 9 completed. Next, let's teleport to Eagle's Peak. I'm going to use a fairy ring teleport once again. Use the fairy ring configure shit. Let's configure the fairy ring and use the code AKQ and teleport ourselves north of Eagle's Peak. So let's run south and go to Eagle's Peak. Let's use this shortcut, enter the cave entrance, and let's go south. If you've already done this task, you can obviously skip it. Let's go all the way south until you see this uh, stone door. Open the stone door and follow this path. Just keep going east and here at the transportation sign you should find three eagles. So let's use your rope on the polar eagle, the white one, and this should start the animation or the cutscene. And it should take you to the hunter area just north of Raleka. Now what you can do is just use your rope on the polar eagle again. And this should teleport you instantly back to Eagle's Peak. Now if you have not completed the Desert Medium and the Western Provinces Medium task, just use your rope on Desert Eagle and the Jungle Demon to complete those three tasks again. But then just go, be sure to go back to the Polar Hunting Area north of Raleka. Alright, here at the Polar Eagles, let's go west to the western southwestern corner of this uh, cave and here you'll find a exit. Exit the cave and let's 
climb the rocky handholds. And then let's go west. Keep going west until we should find a snowy night. This is a very hard to see butterfly. Let's equip our butterfly net and try to catch it. This will be task number 8 completed. Now there is one more left, which is the last one on your list. Mine some gold in the Azerian mine. If you've already done this task, just teleport or run back to Releka and claim your reward. If you, just like me, have not completed this task, you will need to run south, go to these la white ladder signs, descend the steps, and now we just need to go to Caligrim. Check your minimap, just keep running south until you see the quest sign of Olaf quest. Just go to Caligrim, grab your gold helmets, unless you already have it. And then we will need to go back to the uh, Dwarven Ferry Boatman. Alright, when you've returned to the Dwarven Boatman, let's go back to the mines. Yes, please take me there. Next, let's talk to the Dwarven Ferryman. Cross river, which will cost 2 GP. And now click north on your minimap. And wait for our character to go over there. Alright, here at the Between Our Rock quest sign, let's equip our helmet and talk to Dundekan Dwarf. Select the first option, can you shoot me through the rock again? And he should teleport you or shoot you to the mine. Let's uh, mine some gold rocks. And this should be our final task completed. Alright, now we just need to teleport ourselves to Raleka. And let's claim our medium reward. Just like with every medium reward, you will get an experience lamp, which will give you 7500 experience in any skill that you like, if it is at least level 40 or higher. And you will also get two unique rewards, which are a shortcut jump from Miscellanea Dock to Etcetria and improved rate of gaining approval on Miscellanea and Etcetria. Alright, this was my guide how to complete the Fremic Medium Achievement Diary tasks. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye!